we were recently invited by Kawasaki to Knott County, Kentucky, home of the new Mind Made Paradise Park OHV area. The soon-to-be-open trail system will include several hundred miles of trails, and will later be linked with other OHV areas, providing a combined total of over 350 miles worth of trails. Our visit was for two reasons, one, to check out the new ride area, and two, to ride some of Kawasaki's latest ATVs and RUVs. Having done a leg over much of Kawasaki's lineup earlier this year at the Badlands Off-Road Park in Attica, Indiana, we decided to focus our attention on their less glamorous but very popular line of mule utility vehicles. During our day of exploring, we put some time on Kawasaki's Mule 610 XC and 4010 Trans 4x4 diesel. First, we took a look at the 610 XC, a new model for 2010. While it's definitely off-road capable, the 610 XC is not a budget-oriented Terra X. Instead, it's a dedicated workhorse, offering exploring capabilities. The 610 is powered by a 401cc fan-cooled, two-valve, single-overhead cam four-stroke engine. The engine fires to life via electric starting and is fed by a 26mm Makuni carburetor. Its fully automatic transmission features high-low neutral reverse and park, selected by a dash-mounted shifter. Along with both two- and four-wheel drive settings, the Mule features an unlockable rear differential for tighter turning on grassy surfaces without destroying the lawn. Acceleration on the 610 is modest, and the engine takes a while to wind out to its governed top speed of 25 miles per hour. The Mule seemed willing to climb steep grades, it just doesn't do so in a hurry. Off-road, the 610 is capable. It just handles things in a very casual manner. The engine provides the muscle to get work done. However, its docile power delivery should make the entire machine more reliable, especially in the hands of young workers who like to thrash on other people's equipment. The machine's suspension design and performance is right in line with the engine. Up front, McPherson struts control 3.1 inches of travel. Out back, Kawasaki's unit swing axle features preload adjustable shocks. The rear suspension works basically as a swing arm and solid rear axle with 3.1 inches of travel. For an improved ride and better off-road performance, the 610XC comes equipped with large 26-inch Maxxis Bighorn tires mounted on 12-inch wheels. The taller tires help the machine roll smoother on bumps and increase ground clearance by 1.5 inches to 8.1 inches. The new tire and wheel setup also increases the machine's track by 1.3 inches helping to maintain stability, offsetting its taller ride height. On smooth, well-groomed trails, the mule trots along nicely, but prefers to be crawled along in the rough stuff. With the machine designed as a workhorse, its suspension is set up stiff to deal with the additional weight of a full cargo bed. If you try to keep up with your friend and his Terra X through the bumps, you'll be in for a rough ride. The Bighorn tires definitely add it to the machine's ride quality and give the 610 a boost in low traction or technical conditions where extra ground clearance is mandatory. The mule is slowed by sealed four-wheel hydraulic drum brakes. Sealed drums help minimize maintenance, especially in wet or muddy conditions. Braking power is adequate, but they don't quite have the feel of disc brakes. Ergonomically, the mule feels a little dated thanks to its seat. The steering wheel was borrowed from the sport-oriented Terra X, which is a nice touch. The gas pedal and revised brake pedals are well within reach, and all of the controls function smoothly. Our ergonomic complaint is that the seat bench back support is too low. This was especially noticeable in rough conditions, where the top of the seat back digs into the middle of your back. Instrumentation is pretty basic on the mule, with an hour meter and high temp oil indicator light. As we mentioned, this machine was designed for work, and it has the capability to get it done. The hydraulically assisted tilting cargo bed features a drop tailgate for easy loading and unloading. The steel bed is covered inside by a non-slip paint and can carry up to 400 pounds. Additional storage abounds on the mule, including a 12.8 gallon sealed underhood compartment, a passenger side glove box, plus cup holders, keeping drinks close at hand for staying hydrated on long work days. For tools and cargo you need to trailer, the mule has a towing capacity of 1,100 pounds. The front of the frame and bodywork is designed for easy winch installation. Our test unit was equipped with an accessory 3,000 pound winch. Kawasaki offers a plethora of accessories, 
designed to customize the mule for your specific application and environment. For a serious work vehicle, the 610 mule is equipped to perform, and if previous models are any indication, it should provide years of hardworking use. Cruising along the trails of the reclaimed mine area, the Trans 4x4 diesel seemed right at home. We could imagine this machine as the perfect vehicle to move mine workers from parking areas to work sites. It would also be an excellent piece of equipment for large construction companies, farmers, or any businesses with multiple employees who need to cover large distances off-road. This vehicle combines the engine from Kawasaki's 4010 diesel with the chassis of the Trans 4x4, resulting in a machine that can move up to four passengers utilizing diesel fuel, which is more commonly used by companies in the construction or agricultural business. The Trans Diesel is powered by a 395cc three-cylinder liquid-cooled four-stroke engine. The Trans fires up easily thanks to electric starting and has a unique, relatively quiet purr. The engine is governed to a top speed of 25 miles per hour. However, we suspect it is capable of going considerably faster. Kawasaki mated the engine to their automatic power drive system transmission, which features both high and low ranges plus neutral reverse and park. Along with its two- and four-wheel drive settings, the machine also features an unlockable rear differential, allowing tighter turns with less damage to groomed turf surfaces. The diesel engine gets the trans moving pretty quickly, even with a full accompaniment of passengers. It can pull the machine up steep hills and cruises smoothly along trails or access roads. Overall, we were happy with how well the diesel power plant propelled the machine along. Up front, McPherson struts control 3.9 inches of suspension travel. Out back, the 4010 features a semi-independent setup with 2.8 inches of travel. The rear suspension is controlled by standard shocks, assisted by leaf springs, allowing it to better deal with heavy loads in its expandable rear cargo bed. With such a long wheelbase, the Trans could have been stiff steering, especially on downhills. Anticipating this, Kawasaki equipped it with electric power steering. Our test rider, Dave Trimble, was unaware of the power steering until we pointed it out to him, after which he exclaimed, Man, I wondered why this thing steered so easily. Trail jump feedback felt that the steering wheel was also greatly eliminated, thanks to the EPS. Sealed hydraulic drum brakes at all four corners slow this bus and reduce the need for frequent maintenance, especially when the machine is used in extremely wet or gnarly conditions. The Trans 4x4's ergonomics are pretty comfortable, but like the 610XC, we wish the seat backs were a bit taller, offering more back support. The steering wheel and controls are all well within reach. Instrumentation is a bit more extensive on the Trans, offering a parking brake indicator light, coolant temperature light, speedometer, and a horn to honk at others who wish they were riding instead of walking. Kawasaki's Trans 4x4 diesel is a real-life transformer. The 47.7-inch wide by 11.3-inch deep cargo bed can be extended from 30.3 inches to 50.4 inches in length by folding down the rear bench seat and moving the cargo bed cage forward. In four-person mode, the cargo bed can carry 400 pounds. In two-person mode, the cargo bed's capacity grows to a massive 1,100 pounds, with a towing capacity of 1,200 pounds. Additional storage includes a large underhood tub, dual glove boxes, and large cup holders with enough room for beverages for driver and passengers. As with all the other machines in the Mule lineup, the Trans 4x4 diesel has a vast array of accessories available directly through your local Kawasaki dealer to customize the vehicle for your specific needs. Our test unit was equipped with Kawasaki's accessory windshield and soft top. The Kawasaki 4010 Trans 4x4 diesel offers a lot of functionality for the business or person who needs to get a lot of work done and is looking to bring some help along for the ride. For more information on Kawasaki's hard-working line of mule utility vehicles, log on to Kawasaki.com.